let's talk a little bit more about some of the laws and rules and different things like that. Because within Islam, uh, what I've read is that, for example, women are worth half the value of men. And I'm not sure exactly what that means or what context that's in or how that plays out in real life, but how does that work in America and, and is that true in Islam in general? Well, Islam, I think, uh, especially the Quran, talks about women, it talks about them highly and respected. You know, we have a saying that the, the heaven actually is underneath the foot of the mother because of the, of the responsibility a mother that carries. And God always, even in the Quran and the saying of the Prophet Muhammad, that we should always look for our wives or for our, or for our daughters and uh, respect them and love them. And, but the image of, uh, of some people brings about, look at the women are less... You know, when they're talking about uh, inheritance, like in the Quran, it talks about how much the money when someone who's rich died and how the, the money used to be, used, should be shared among, among the family. They say, okay, the man, the man can get the full and the woman can get half. That does not show that the woman is a less of equal of a man. The Quran talks about the mother of Jesus, Mary. I want to explain how she purified she is and how she good. That, that talk or that thought about women are less in Islam, that is not true. It's not the way it plays out in America. So yeah. I, mean, I know you're married. Yeah. Uh, I, I know that your wife does not work, uh, although you have, you have uh, your son, and uh, so she certainly has her hands full. Um, and she chooses to wear a hijab. Uh, but in your relationship, you would say it's very similar to kind of what what I think Western culture would would say in terms of uh, a partnership between a man and a woman in marriage not more so than you know a, a servant and a master which I think is the perception that a lot of people have of Islam yeah I mean a lot of people think that you know my my wife is uh, more like a servant to me and then no definitely we are both partner in this obstacle life I mean my wife is a very educated person she's a uh, She's a college student and uh, she chose to be at home and she chose to take care of my son and where I chose to work and provide for the family and that is just because we thought is more we could have a stable family and uh, less of a stressful if we both work in. You know my wife actually if she would go now and work she can earn more money than, I, my, than myself but she chose not because she thinks that her job is going to be blocking her from getting a job and it's been obstacle for her even though she got a college degree at teaching. So let, let's talk about that. Uh, the hijab is the head covering that um, a Muslim woman wears and their dress is obviously different than uh, than the typical and I know some some Muslim Americans dress very typical as far as the the American customs and things uh, but t wh tell me why do they dress different? What's the, what's the impetus behind that? Before Islam, actually, Islam uh, didn't bring anything in you to the, to the women covering themselves. It was back in Christianity. And it was also in Judaism where pe women used to cover themselves. And Islam, when it came, it promoted that, that belief and promoted that culture. Actually, it was passed in Christianity and Judaism. But I had that conversation with my wife where, like, like listen, now, you know, we should be afraid from one, I think you might want to take your hijab. And she said, no, she said, absolutely not. And I asked her, I said, you know, a lot of Muslims, people, a lot of non-Muslims ask me, it's like, why women are wearing a hijab? And she, she answered it. She's like, I, wanna, I want my beauty is only to be showed to you. I don't want to be over there exposed. She's not, she's not saying, okay, the American women are bad. But she said, no, this is myself. And I wanted to behave myself, and I want my beauty to be showed only for my husband. And Islam promotes such a thing like that. And it says, look, women can cover themselves so that beauty is not shown to everybody. She's not exposed to everybody. She's not for sale. She's not for, you know, people to look. Her beauty is only for her husband. And there's a lot of women, a lot of Muslim women who are Muslims, and they're not covering. They're not wearing hijab. And that's not bad thing, or that's not, that's up to them if whether they want to put the hijab or not. But putting the hijab is more like women want to do that. It's okay, you know. Yeah, it's good. It's good to hear that, you know, that's, that's your wife's choice and that's very common and, yeah. and that it's not something that she's forced to do or, Definitely. you know, something like that. And, and I think it's admirable that Muslim women um, 
I, I assume more than just your wife, feel like it is an honorable thing to do and a respectful thing to cover themselves and not, you know, not to put themselves on display, as obviously we have, you know, maybe a bit too much of in America.